Hello Grade 11s and welcome to this lesson on trigonometric identities. An identity is a statement that two mathematical expressions are equal for all values of their variables. An example of an algebraic identity is x squared minus y squared is always equal to x plus y times x minus y. It is important to take note of trigonometric identities and their variations. We use these to simplify expressions and solve equations. Before we get started, let's go through why we use the Greek alphabet to represent angles. The Greeks produced and developed an amazing amount of maths, including geometry and trigonometry. So we use the Greek letters like alpha, beta and theta as a measure of respect. Don't worry about them too much. They are variables just like x and y. We just use them to represent angles. The first identity we will derive is known as the Pythagorean or squares identity. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one. This means that whenever we add sine squared of an angle to cos squared of that same angle, the answer will always be equal to one. Let's show that this identity is true through the unit circle. The unit circle has a radius of one unit. Let's draw a triangle by joining the radius to the x-axis and labeling the sides x, y, and r. We've put the triangle in the first quadrant, but we could have constructed it anywhere. The angle between the x-axis and the terminal arm is theta. Have you figured out why the identity is called the Pythagorean or squares identity? Pythagoras' theorem is about the relationship of the squares on the sides of any right angle triangle. Here the side labelled y is perpendicular to the x-axis. This means that we have a right angle triangle. Let's see how the triangle will help us prove that the Pythagorean or squares identity is true for any value of theta. We can now see that x represents the adjacent, y represents the opposite, and r represents the hypotenuse with respect to theta. Therefore, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta can be written as y over r all squared plus x over r all squared. Squaring, we get y squared over r squared plus x squared over r squared. Expressing this as a single fraction gives y squared plus x squared all over r squared. We know that this is a right angle triangle. Thus, Pythagoras' theorem would hold. We can replace y squared plus x squared with r squared. So we end up with r squared over r squared, which simplifies to one. This is our first identity and it is known as the squares identity. This identity is always true for any value of theta. We can now use this identity to help us simplify expressions and equations and help us prove other identities. Our next identity is tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. This is known as the quotient identity. This identity can also be proved using the unit circle. In a typical exam question, we will be asked to use these identities to either simplify an expression or to solve an equation. Let's practice these skills together. Simplify the following to a single trigonometric ratio. Cos squared theta times open brackets 1 over sine theta minus 1 plus 1 over sine theta plus 1, close brackets. There will be more than one way to do this, depending on your approach. I am going to start by creating one denominator inside the bracket. Let's start by simplifying the contents of the brackets. Our common denominator is sine theta minus 1 times sine theta plus 1. This means that our numerator is sine theta plus 1 plus sine theta minus 1. Inside the brackets, we can now simplify to 2 sine theta over sine squared theta 
minus 1. Let us break away for a moment to show that the square's identity can be manipulated. It is important for us to remember these manipulations as not all questions are straightforward and simplistic. From sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1, we can make cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. We can also make sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta. This is the variation we are going to use. Let's go back to the question. We replace sine squared theta minus 1 with cos squared theta. This gives us cos squared theta times 2 sine theta over cos squared theta. We can cancel cos squared theta, so our final answer is 2 sine theta. Our next question also makes use of the quotient identity. Tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. Our restriction is that cos theta cannot equal zero. Are you ready? Here it comes. Prove that cos squared theta times open brackets, two plus tan squared theta, close brackets, equals two minus sine squared theta. When we do this calculation, we need to lay it out in a particular way. First, we write RTP, which means required to prove. And then we write the statement cos squared theta times open brackets 2 plus tan squared theta close brackets equals 2 minus sine squared theta. To begin our proof, we need to take the more complicated side and write it on its own so that we can manipulate it. The left hand side is cos squared theta times open brackets 2 plus tan squared theta close brackets. Standard practice is to change the expression so that it just has sine and cos in it. To do this, we will use the quotient identity to change tan squared theta to sine squared theta over cos squared theta. Now we have cos squared theta times open brackets 2 plus sine squared theta over cos squared theta close brackets. The common denominator inside the brackets will be cos squared theta. Within the brackets, this gives us 2 cos squared theta plus sine squared theta all over cos squared theta. Now we can cancel cos squared theta and get 2 cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. Now that we have simplified the expression, we need to see where we are heading to prove that the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side of our identity. We always need to keep the destination in mind so that we can use the correct identities. Our right-hand side is 2 minus sine squared theta. This tells us that we need to get rid of the cos on the left-hand side, leaving only sine theta. Let's use the square's identity to change cos squared theta to 1 minus sine squared theta. By distributing the two, we get 2 minus 2 sine squared theta plus sine squared theta. This simplifies to 2 minus sine squared theta, which gives us the right-hand side. Remember that when we are doing this kind of mathematical proof, we must only work with one side of the equation at a time. To test yourself, try the trigonometric equations task video. You will also be able to learn more about trigonometric identities on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Till next time, grade 11s.